please welcome Mr. Pat Hyman. So there I was. I was 16 years old and one month. I had had my driver's license for five days. My best friend in the world, Mike Devlin, who was 15 years old, had convinced me through peer pressure to drive to a soccer game in Washington, D.C. After the soccer game, we came home, and unfortunately, we got lost. We ended up in the worst neighborhoods of Washington, D.C., driving around aimlessly, fighting about which way to go. And as we were arguing, the car broke down. You see, I had a 1963 Plymouth Duster that my grandfather had given me. And the car breaks down, and Mike and I are arguing, and we're talking about a strategy of, should we walk, should we hitchhike, what should we do? Bear in mind, this is 1980. There's no cell phones. There's no GPS. There's nothing we could do. It's a Sunday night at about 7.30. Just as we're getting to the height of our argument, a state trooper pulls up behind us. He gets out of the car. He says, guys, I cannot fix cars, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of you to a service station and drop you off, and I want the other one to go to sleep and hang out in the back of the car. So Mike quickly volunteered to be the one that hangs out in the back of the car, and the trooper took me to the service station. Being the nice trooper that he was, he dropped me off and took off on his way. There was an old man working at the service station by himself. He looks up from the television set that he's watching, and he says, what do you want? And I said, sir, I'm sorry, but uh, I've broken down on the side of the road. I need your help. I need you to come fix my car. He says to me, Sonny, he says, I'm the sole proprietor here. If I leave and someone wants to come buy a tank of gas, I'm out the money for the tank of gas. I'm not going to shut down just for you. So I'd like to tell you guys that I uh, have known sales skills, and I've been a salesperson all my life, and I've been a great persuader, but the reality of it is that's not true. I was 16 years old. I did the only thing I knew how to do to persuade people. I started to cry. <laughs> so there I am crying. He looks at me, he's like, you've got to be kidding me. Make a long story short, he ends up shutting down the gas station. He drives to the car. He promptly pops open the hood. Just imagine the hood, there's, there's a bunch of water or crap or or some sort of fluid dripping on the, uh, on the ground. He's looking under the hood. He goes, Sonny, hand me the owner's manual. I look at him because the owner's manual wasn't on the driver's test. I say, Mike, what's an owner's manual? Mike says, oh, I know what that is. He goes in a glove box, pulls out everything in the glove box, hands it to me. I hand it to old Grumpy. Old Grumpy grabs the owner's manual, grabs a big pile of paper. He's sorting through them. And unfortunately, it's just a bunch of old receipts, right? A matchbook, some coffee-stained papers. He says, this is not an owner's manual. This is a bunch of junk. He hands it back to me. I hand it back to Mike. I said, Mike, that's not an owner's manual. I tell old Grumpy, I'm sorry, sir, but that, this is all we have. He slams down the hood. He says, you guys get in the tow truck. I got to tow you home. We say, great. We get in this tow truck. We're sitting there. Old Grumpy turns to me and says, where do you live? I said, well, uh, here's my address. He said, how do I get there? I said, well, I'm sorry, we don't know. We're lost. As a matter of fact, we were just arguing about that. He, you just start seeing him fuming. His face turns red. He looks at Mike and I, and he goes, I cannot believe that you would come to the District of Columbia with no map and no owner's manual. We just kind of shrugged. And this story leads me to this thought, and that is if I could show you, if I had a map that would show you how I went from 10 sales a year to over 500 sales a year, three years in a row, would you want that map? Yes. If, I could, if that same exact map showed you how I went from being a, a raging workaholic to how I used to work every single day, 365 days a year, and for the last 10 years, I've taken an average of 153 days off every year. Would you want that same map? Yes. Well, my goal today is not only to give you that map, but also give you the owner's manual. The map 
is today's presentation. The owner's manual is my book. My book is called Six Steps to Seven Figures. 